Bitcoin broke another record. It's doubled in price in the past month alone. Uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. The main currency you've probably heard about is Bitcoin. Its value exploded from around $1,000 at the beginning of the year to $9,000 by November to nearly $20,000 by December. Bitcoin is better than currency in that you don't have to ha be physically in the same place and, of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. Rick Falkvina does an excellent analysis. He predicts that Bitcoin will capture between 1% and 10% of the global Forex market, which implies a price of between $100,000 to $1 million per Bitcoin. <laughs>
oops, no, token symbol is ORI. Okay, decimals 18, save it. <clears throat> and look at that, it pulled it in. Also too, you'll notice now we can send ORI. Okay, so what was ORI on? Well, I read their medium earlier, so let me just click on their medium for the update. Oh, IDEX, there it is. And there's the pairing right there, ETH to ORI. So what we do now, is we create an account here because I don't have one. We log in and we get our wallet address to deposit ORI. And what do you think we're going to do after that? You guessed it, my friends. We're going to put in the address. We're going to send the entire balance or whatever you want to send. And then we're going to mess around with gas limit. So let me just go ahead and pause and do that now. A few moments later. We've gone ahead and just linked up our MetaMask account, which is pretty crazy. I didn't know we could do that, actually. Hide zero balances. Is it just automatically in here? Oh, it is. So we need to move over from my wallet balance to my IDEX balance. And so you just hit this deposit button, and this should do it right here. We picked the whole amount. Gas prices, let's talk about that because I thought we were gonna have to send it through my Ether wallet, but it turns out we won't. These gas prices are pretty inflated and depending on what that actually means to send it, because let me take a step back. If we had to send this to another exchange, we'd put in the address, the amount, this, click generate transaction, then it would give us the rest of the data, say, hey, you wanna send this? We'd see a pop up, we click yes, then it would pull up MetaMask. At that point, we would see that information there, and then we would get to choose our gas price and it would tell us how much that would cost. That's where ethgasstation.info comes in. If we look here, it says gas price safe low is four right now. Within 30 minutes to have it sent, there's only four, G-W-E-I, okay? If we look here, it wants us to send at six. I don't wanna do that. So this is now the estimated ETH cost of the transaction, which is nothing. And so we can even come down here and see who's the lowest percent of blocks, 10%. Mining pool hub is like always number one. But this gives us the info that we need. It's like, it's hovering between four and five to send it there within five minutes. Why would we send it six, seven, eight, nine? That's only when there's gas wars going on that you really need to kind of mess with this stuff. But this is a great resource to have just bookmarked so that you've got it. But that's pretty much it. We just come over here and click on deposit. I don't think I'll be able to because I don't have any deposit. I don't have any ETH. Okay, this does pull up MetaMask as well. This is great that you got to see this. So I got to move over more ETH into MetaMask before I can even do this transaction. This is exactly the same thing that you would go through on my Ether wallet. So I like it. We'll just go ahead and reject that right there and we'll wait until I move over some more balance. But then I've got it actually in IDEX, it's in the exchange, and I can decide what to do with it from there. I'm not gonna send the 25,000, which is why I didn't really care if this went through. I will probably trade out some of it, but for me, Origami personally is a uh, 2018 longer term hold into 2019, definitely. So I might just sell off a little bit, but we'll see. I just started looking at it this morning. So anyways, that's the process that you follow to move over well first off to find your balances on your eth address that was where we started and then from there okay how do we actually get that to load up now it's showing in our metamask account from there if you remember then we jumped over and we started incorporating my ether wallet which is the sending mechanism just think of it like that we talked a little bit about gas prices and then you'd obviously have to go into the exchange get your other address for whatever token it's for get your deposit address so that you can receive money into that wallet and then you would just go through my ether wallet change your gas pricing send it off and then it would be on that exchange so then you could do whatever you wanted with it or it would then be in that wallet and you you could do whatever you wanted with it. I think for the most part, people just keep their balances in MetaMask until they want to dump it out onto an exchange and actually do something with it. You link that up with your Trezor or your hardware wallet, and that's where you would really put the long-term holds that you don't really want to mess with. Then from there, you could go into paper wallets and uh, cold storage. All right, my friends, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that it was valuable for you. If you like what we're doing on the channel, take a second, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification. This just in. Crypto Junkies is now over a thousand over people. 2,500 people. We have over 3,000 people. 4,600. We have crossed over 5,000 people in our Discord chat community.